Hey guys, Zeeples here. In my previous video, I showed you how to properly set up your Hotbog video capture device along with OBS. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna get a delay when we do that. This is gonna happen with almost any video capture device and I'm gonna show you how to fix that delay right now. What happens, and I'll maximize this a little bit so you can see it more clearly along with the controller in the webcam, is when we move our controller, we're gonna see a delay. Mine's about, a uh, a second to a second and a half. Now I'm playing on a TV right here and that delay is not happening. So I can still play my game accurately, but what would happen in a stream scenario is if I get shot or I get blown up, you're gonna visually see me freak out and you're gonna hear me screaming like, oh crap, I died before you actually see it happen on the Xbox. So if you're streaming or recording, it's imperative that you fix this. So we can't actually speed up the process in which our Xbox sends signal to your Hotbox device, then to your computer, and then onto the stream. So that delay is pretty much gonna be there no matter what you do. You could maybe tweak it a little bit, but it's pretty much gonna be whatever it's at. So considering mine's about a thousand milliseconds, I timed it out, um, let's go ahead and show you how to fix, first of all, the webcam, okay? Again, we are seeing a delay here. But when we go into our webcam, this is specifically in OBS Studio, they have what are called filters. Some others, you can actually go into your properties and you can fix it. You'll have an option that has a buffering um, and you can type in the milliseconds there, that's great. But with OBS Studio, we're going to add a filter and that filter is called Video Delay Async, okay? And we're just gonna leave it the name as default. Now before I do this, keep in mind, once I fix this, you're gonna see a huge mic delay and it's probably gonna drive you crazy, but we'll fix that immediately after. Let's add a thousand milliseconds. And you can now see that the video is accurate. The controller moves at the same time as the um, Hotbog capture device um, sends it out to the viewers on your stream. Now we need to fix this mic delay because it's probably driving you crazy. You're gonna have a mixer right here and you're gonna have uh, your mic on the left. Slide over to sync offset in milliseconds, okay? So you can't just hit one because that's one millisecond. You need to make it match whatever the number was in your webcam. Now you can see that my voice matches, my, the audio of my voice matches the video of my voice, okay? So if you can't remember that number, go here, filters, make sure this number matches the number in your mixer right there. Now what's gonna happen is you're gonna see this green line. This is, uh, this is showing you, look, you're seeing it immediately. It's gonna freak you out a little bit because you're gonna think, oh, the delay's not working. Well, your computer's still picking up your noise at the same time, but it's sending it to the viewers 1,000 milliseconds later. So when you go back and listen to the recording or you watch your stream, you're gonna realize that even though this green bar here doesn't visually tell you that there's a delay, there is indeed a delay. Anyway, I hope that helps, guys, and I hope you come check out my stream sometime, uh, twitchtv.zfulhogan. It's down in the link below. Thanks a lot to Press Left for helping me figure all this out, and I'm sure I'll see you guys around. Please like and subscribe.